obvious that's why Vicky hates you. Your dad helped bump off her parents. Why would my father have the Veils killed? I never said he killed the Veils. She was born in Arkham. Victoria Arkham. <laughs> so where are you gonna go? I've got some other business I need to take care of. did you do? Our Lady Arkham's drugs destroyed. That's what a leader does. Ah! Oh, 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 you psycho! Oh, you can do whatever you want to me. Lady Arkham's plans are already in motion. The city is still reeling from an explosion Mayor Harvey Dent set off that obliterated an entire city block and killed innocents. When questioned about his extreme measures, Mayor Dent said he'll use any force necessary to take down the children of Arkham. You're done, Gordon! Give up your badge and we'll let you live! Meanwhile, his opponents are routinely silenced. The latest to speak out is Police oh. Commissioner Grogan. He called Dent a murderer and a terrorist, and demanded his immediate resignation. In response, Dent's enforcers attempted to arrest Grogan, sparking violence inside the precinct. These are dark days in Gotham. Our mayor promised us a better city, but delivers only more violence. How long do we let this two-face stay in power? How long can we... Excuse me, you can't be in here. Hey, you can't do this! Shut Let up! Me go! Hey, hey, stop! Time's up! You should have known better, Gordon. Now we nail your tongue to the precinct door by order of City Hall. Just try me. You punks. Time, Batman. Ugh. Mayor Dent's lost his goddamn mind. His enforcers have overrun the city. Apparently, our new mayor doesn't care much for dissent. He's ordered a purge of every honest cop we have left. Which isn't many. Dent is a sick man. He needs to be stopped before he hurts anyone else. Well, maybe you can get him some therapy. After you stop him tearing the city apart, Come on. The commissioner's still down there. Oh. You sure you're up for this? I have to be. Follow my lead. Commissioner, they can't hold out much longer.
to. Stop it! The commissioner, is he? God damn it! No. Not you two. He died a hero, giving his life for Gotham. I'm sorry, Lieutenant. Now this... This is not your fault. It's a bastard, Dents. Krogan was a good man. A family man. Lieutenant Gordon! Gordon! Come in! S Sergeant Kelly! Report! It's the mayor! At Wayne Manor. He's got hostages. And he's killing them one by one until Bruce Wayne shows. He says... He says... Cops show up, he'll kill another. Batman shows up, he'll kill them all. Kelly, get out of there. Sir, I'm... I'll let the coin decide. Kelly! Kelly! Damn it! Ooh. Get yourself to a hospital, Lieutenant. Alfred, are you safe? Yes, I barricaded in the Batcave. I heard gunshots, but then Harvey's men disabled the cameras. I have to face Harvey as Bruce Wayne. Otherwise, he'll just keep killing people. Perhaps going as Bruce could be an advantage. Even without the suit, you're a formidable opponent. I know the old Harvey is still in there somewhere. If anyone can reach him, it's you. I'll be standing by if you need me. It's time to end this, Harvey. Once and for all. Now, I want a safer Gotham. A Gotham where working people can raise their families. Fear of being robbed or stabbed or, or worse. I just. I know I can make the city better. If only I. Okay, I'll back you. <laughs> Come on, Bruce. That joke is in poor taste. I'm serious, Harvey. I'll fund your campaign completely. I've lived in Gotham my whole life, and I've never seen an official I can believe in. Until you. <laughs> Thank you, Bruce. I, I... I promise, I will not let you down. Mm -mm, never even crossed my mind. The only real question is, this election or next? We'll let the coin decide. <laughs> Lucky. But someone has to die. <laughs> Are you volunteering, Deborah? Harvey! Wayne! About damn time! Snipers, two of them. Get the drones online. I'll see what I can do. I wasn't sure you'd come. You weaseled your way out of the death you deserve. Like a coward. Why, do you actually grow a backbone? Please, Harvey! Let these people go! Oh, you really think it'll be that easy? You're dumber than you look, Bruce. Maybe you'll look smarter with a bullet in your face! Listen to yourself! This isn't you. <laughs> Wait. What am I saying? I've tried to fight it, Bruce, but... I can't. Bruce, I only ever wanted to help Gotham. And now look at me. I can't stop him. He's stronger than I am. I've known you a long time, Harvey. You are stronger than your demons. I could always count on your friendship, Bruce. Until what happened with Selina. This city needs to be purged of people like you! All of you! Traitors! Terrorists! Cops who don't take their mayor's orders! Harvey, don't! 
This is the only way to clean up this cesspool! No, please! This is what happens to people who cross me, Wayne. You were the fiercest DA the city ever had. Someone who fought for people's dreams. So much for a safer Gotham. You're right. This isn't me. Go. Go, get away. I would let them all go, but... It's not up to me. Deborah, my not-so-faithful assistant. You've been feeding my enemies info since the start! <laughs> I swear I Back did. all you want, but it's not up to me. Your life, his life, even my life. They all hinge on Shep. You have always known right from wrong. I am begging you. <laughs> What did I do? What... What did he make me do? Now, Bruce! Stay back! Oh, God, please don't. Harvey, no more. No more? I'm just getting started! This is the only way to keep people in line! Harvey, please! You called me here for a reason. Take me! You... You were Harvey's friend, Wayne. He thought you'd save this city together. Uh, but he... He was a fool for believing in you! That's enough, Harvey. You're... You're right. Two-faced move, I know. But sometimes, you have to make your own luck. One last call. A bullet in the head, or one in the heart. I'm feeling pretty good about those odds. Give me the coin. I need... I need the result! Where do I shoot? Grab the damn coin! Without the coin, I can't. I don't know what to do! I don't think so. Bruce, I don't... I don't know what to do. I can't decide. That's too much. That's too much, too much. I can't... <laughs> A safer Gotham, Harvey. Just like you want it. Wherever they put me, and whatever they do, I'll get out. I'm coming for you, Wayne. Nowhere is safe. You're gonna die. I'm gonna get you help, Harvey. We will get you better. I am better, Wayne. I'm the best I've ever been. Oh, you'll see. <laughs> I'm not done yet. Mr. Wayne, I, I owe you so much. You're a hero, and I'm gonna make sure all of Gotham knows it. You should be rotting in Arkham! <laughs> Lady Arkham hasn't forgotten you. Everything you love will burn.
Your usual tea and the entire pantry, I'm afraid, didn't survive the fire. This is from my own personal supply. Thanks, Alfred. We're not the only ones that took a hit while Mayor Dent was in power. Well, at least you've ensured Harvey won't be hurting anyone else. Bruce, these last few weeks, I worry about the toll they've taken on you. Facing off against Harvey and Oswald in a matter of days. D not just the physical toll. Those were men you once trusted. And after finding out what you did about your father, people must seem a great disappointment to you. Always letting you down, even those whom you admire. Not everyone is like my father or Oswald. And what Harvey became, it wasn't by choice. And me. Everything that happened, I could have stopped it if I'd done something all those years ago. This, this is my fault. All of it. I told you I wanted to leave your father's employ. But if only I had the guts to do something instead. Your mother, she wanted that. Wanted to put an end to his crimes. If I'd helped her... If I'd stopped Thomas... None of these horrors would have occurred. Lady Arkham, Oswald, even Harvey. I don't blame you for what happened, Alfred. You did the best you could in an impossible situation. And it helped to make me the man I am today. I... Thank you, Bruce. But our work isn't done. The children of Arkham are still out there. And Lady Arkham. With both Penguin and Mayor Dent off the board, she's the only remaining piece. We need to figure out her next move. The only thing we do know is that she moved on from her plan to poison the city. With Penguin gone and my CEO access restored, I can finally log into Wayne Enterprises and see exactly what Oswald was doing during his time in charge. If I cross-reference that with all the data we have on Vicky Vale, we might be able to figure out the children of Arkham's next move. Your administrative access to Wayne Enterprises should have been reinstated by now, along with your title of CEO. Let's see what Oswald was doing while he sat in my chair. Master Cobblepot's sense of humor hasn't changed much since you were boys. Can we just see what he was doing? Penguin was tapping into surveillance systems across Gotham. Any building using Wayne Tech security could be spied on from the CEO's office. How is that any different than the back door into the Wayne network that he uncovered? That's not... unless... Hold on. What do we have here? They did more than just look at these schematics. Every building in Gotham with a Wayne Tech security system can be accessed from here, and remotely controlled. If Oswald was the brawn, Vicky is the brains. So let's check her file. She may have left clues about what she was using Oswald's access for. Oswald altered several public records using the Wayne network. All mention of her birth name, Victoria Arkham, is completely gone. Wait, 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 what's this? He also erased something from Vicky's research at the Gazette. I can't tell what was removed from here, but Wayne Tech leaves a trace when it alters data. One the bad computer can decode. What is it Miss Vale wanted to hide? No surprise here, Oswald wiped away any trace of his criminal records. His background is completely fabricated. He was enrolled at Cambridge? Ridiculous. 
Calm down, Alfred. I'm sure the board realizes by now that they were fooled. Oswald manipulated my records as well. It would appear your degree was in... sociology? And my medical records. There are some... well, but colorful diseases. Annoying, but not hard to fix. Ah. Oh, that's better. Oh, Oswald certainly wasn't very frugal with my money. You have a few yachts to return, it appears. Also explains how the children of Arkham had a seemingly endless supply of guns. Oswald was using Wayne money to arm them. Oswald was... Was trying to buy an island. What on earth for? Looks like he was using his new legal control of Carmine Falcone's assets and likeness to brand the place. It's some kind of tourist attraction. He was going to call it Falcone Island. Hmm. We need to figure out Lady Arkham's next move. Of course. Vicky Vale, mid-30s, reporter for the Gotham Gazette, and not in the public record, her true name, Victoria Arkham. To think she was here, in the manor, she gave nothing away of her true nature then. The Gazette's records are the articles written by Vicky Vale. This record isn't complete. You're right, there are notable gaps between entries, but yet, it doesn't seem she ever left the Gazette's employ. So what was she doing in that time? This record wouldn't be easy to alter. Seeing what Oswald was up to could give us a fresh perspective. The children of Arkham. Their symbol dates back much farther than their terrorist activity. They formed to get justice for those wronged at Arkham Asylum. But the message fell on deaf ears. Until they found a leader Gotham couldn't ignore. Vicky embraced this identity to follow through on her twisted crusade. Her mask inspires fear. Not unlike Batman. I just need to find her. Now that we know how Oswald manipulated Vicky's records, the back computer should be able to... There. No more holes. She was looking into Arkham patients. Reviewing records, checking submissions, prior histories. She was trying to figure out who was actually sick and who was committed because of Hill, Falcone, and my father. Vicky was digging deep. Gotham City records, freedom of information requests, post to conspiracy forums. All to find. It's a list. Gotham buildings that use Wayne Tech security systems. It's a list of targets. City Hall, Arkham Asylum, GCPD headquarters, Gotham First National. It's almost every landmark in the city. We're on to something. Vicky wants to bypass the security at a Gotham landmark. But without a man inside Wayne Enterprises, she can't unlock that door remotely. She'll have to get her hands dirty. And when she does, we'll find her. Speaking of... Is it Lady Arkham? No, it's one of Lucius's prototypes. On the move. What? But Lucius locked everything away. Well, he needed a better luck. She stole from you? After we opened our doors to her? After all that you two... Alfred. Yeah, I know, Bruce, but... Why would she do this? 
Is she that cold-hearted? That selfish? She must have her reasons. Oh, I'm sure she does. Computer visual. The prototype she stole. It's an electronic skeleton key. With it, you could bypass any security system made by Wayne Tech. That key is far too dangerous in Miss Kyle's hands, especially with Lady Arkhamston at large. Get the car ready, Alfred. And Alfred, let Lucius know what's happened. I'm going to get some answers from Selina. I wasn't expecting you. Thought I'd make it outside the city limits, at least. Clearly my ride needs a tune-up. I trusted you. And you stole from me. Don't take it so personally. Besides, we both know you're not here because of hurt feelings. Are you? I don't blame you for wanting it back. <laughs> I'm surprised you had a toy like this. No doubt Batman would use it for the good of Gotham, but the less noble options are so much more... exciting. Why should I give it back? So much potential. A thief of your class doesn't need a device like that. It'd only be a crutch. <laughs> Says the man whose belt is an armory. Catch. I know you're just playing into my pride, but you're right. I don't need a crutch. <laughs> oh, come on. Don't pretend you're not impressed. As long cons go, this one was a beauty. Getting into Wayne Tech's lab took a lot more than cracking a safe. I had to get close to people. Your friend Harvey. Poor guy just wanted to fall in love so bad. After that, it didn't take very long to get my introduction to his BFF. <laughs> the great Bruce Wayne. Imagine my surprise when the rich playboy turned out to be Batman. Scourge of Gotham. I was always going to steal from Bruce Wayne. I just never expected he'd be so interesting. So it was all just an act. Everything we've done together. A lie. That's how it started. And now it's over. I'm getting out of here while the getting's good. Gotham's a house on fire. And I'm not gonna burn with it. If you were smart, you'd get out of here too. This town hates you. Hates your entire family. Just leave it all behind. Do something more... Meaningful with those skills of yours. You don't need the money, but... But think of the fun. Gotham needs me. And I won't abandon the people of this city, no matter how they feel about me. After the way they've treated you, you've got one hell of a thick skin. You're gonna need it. It'll be good to put some distance between us. After all, look at what happened to Harvey. It'd only be a matter of time before I crossed one of your lines. Isn't that right? My copy of the Boy Scout Handbook is out of date. I'm bound to break some rule. Selena, I would never hurt you. Bruce, I... That's really sweet. But it brings us to the root of our problem, doesn't it? You're upset that I'm leaving. What'd you think? That one night of sex meant we were going steady. Is that what you really thought? I had fun, Selena. Didn't you? I'm all for fun, Bruce. But how long does this stay fun before you start wanting more? <sighs> Look, Bruce. I'll admit that what you and I had... It wasn't terrible. But you were just another job. A more... Intriguing job than I was expecting. 
but still a job. And that job's done. I'm done with you. It's not complicated. I'm not a good person. I'm certainly no hero, and I don't want to be. I'm a thief. That's all I am. I told you that from the start. I never pretended to be anything else. Stop. It's not true. I know there's more to you than that. You're just afraid to admit it. You'd like it if that were true, wouldn't you? Why would you even think that? I've made my feelings pretty clear. Why aren't you listening? You fought by my side. And together we saved a lot of lives. We're a good team, Selena. You had to know that wouldn't last. But it was nice. While it did. You know... After I found out you were Batman, I thought nothing else could surprise me. But... You just keep on surprising me. Something to remember me by. <laughs> I won't need any help remembering you. Well, it's been fun. See you around? Maybe. Lucius, I've got the key. Uh, hold on, Alfred's on the line. Hey, Alfred, I... Bruce! Lady Arkham! She's here! I, I tried to keep them out, but... Alfred? Alfred! Lucius, it's Bruce. He's not here. Damn it. I'm going to search for clues. Just tell me how I can help. Get over here as fast as you can. I'm on my way. We're gonna find him, Bruce. I know. Need to focus. Figure out what happened here. What happened to you, Al? everywhere what did they do to you Alfred something big was thrown against this wall or someone furniture scattered outwards from a single point Face was knocked over in the struggle. The fight left nothing untouched. Blood pattern looks like it came off a high velocity hit. scuff mark. What could have caused this? How the hell... The lock's been completely destroyed. Alfred must have barricaded himself in here. But they got in anyway. Alfred grabbed the fireplace poker to fend off an attacker. But it was knocked away.
This pool cue was used as a weapon, swung so hard it broke in half. No correlation there. Alfred used the pool cue as a weapon. Broke it across his attacker's head. When that didn't stop him, he used the jagged end to stab him, spraying blood across the pool table. Lady Arkham must have used the concussion blast from her staff to try and stop Alfred. I know what happened. The children of Arkham broke in. Alfred barricaded himself inside the parlor. He had just enough time to grab a pool cue as a weapon before Lady Arkham blasted the doors open. He broke it across one of their heads then stabbed him to get away. Another assailant tackled Alfred, knocking over the vase. Alfred almost escaped, but then Lady Arkham entered the parlor, used her staff's concussion blast, scattering all the furniture in her path, throwing him against the wall by the fireplace. So Alfred grabs the nearest thing to use as a weapon to defend himself, but Lady Arkham deflected Alfred's attack, causing the poker to fly across the room and lodge into the wall. More blood on the mantle. He smashed his face into it. Wait. That picture doesn't belong there. Lady Arkham wanted me to find this. Yeah.